According to reports, Naomi Osaka believes her triumph against her older sister Mari to be her biggest victory ever. How momentous was the victory? Well, as she prepares to compete in the 2022 US Open, Osaka confronts a significant obstacle. In the first round, the Japanese superstar will face former world number 7 Danielle Collins of the United States. Here is everything we know so far. To begin, let's take a look at Naomi's victory. Due to her four Grand Slam titles, Naomi Osaka has a wide variety of triumphs from which to select the most impressive. However, Osaka considers her victory over her sister Mari the most crucial win of her career. It indicated that she was capable of big things at the time. That victory came before any of the Grand Slams or other contests of comparable magnitude. This is the most significant victory I've ever had. I'm sorry to say this, but she did cry, Osaka remarked during a panel discussion on her life and career. She also talked about how she and her sister Mari have had a rocky relationship. When it came to tennis, Naomi was the more gifted of the two, and she became a professional player. When Naomi decided to follow their shared interest in the world of fashion, she was able to aid her sister in entering the fashion profession. Well, what are your thoughts on this subject? Please leave a comment. Moving on, the Dutch defeated the Americans to win the Davis Cup Finals group. The Netherlands won their Davis Cup Finals group on Saturday, thanks to wins by Badek van Zandersloop and Talon Griekspoor in singles matches against Taylor Fritz and Tommy Paul of the United States. Following Greek Spore's first victory over Paul, 7-5, 7-6, and 3. Van de Zanschloop broke the tie by defeating Fritz, ranked 12th in the world, in straight sets, 6-4, 7-6, and 3. Rajiv Ram and Jack Sock competed for the glory of the United States of America in the doubles match against Wesley Kuloff and Matwe Middlekoop. At the moment, the Dutch were leading 2-0. The United States and the Netherlands have already qualified for the competition's quarterfinals with their two victories in Group D. The Dutch have advanced to the next group, where they will face the winner of Group C, which may be either Australia or Germany. The winner of Group A, most likely Italy, will participate against the United States of America. The match between Italy and Sweden will take place in Bologna on Sunday. Croatia was up 2-0 against Argentina on Saturday and appeared to be on track for its second win the day after falling to Italy in its first encounter. The conclusion of Canada's 1-1 tie with Serbia in Valencia will be determined by the doubles competition in Group B. France defeated Belgium 2-1 in Group C, while Australia and Germany were already sure to advance to the last eight. Following that, after defeating Kazakhstan, the United States is eyeing the Davis Cup quarterfinals. On Thursday, Tommy Paul and Taylor Fritz won their singles matches to give the United States an unassailable 2-0 lead against Kazakhstan in the Davis Cup Finals group. The Americans are nearly sure to advance to the quarterfinals with two wins. Paul defeated Mikhail Kukushkin, 6-1, 6-4, before Fritz defeated Alexander Bublik, 7-6 and 6, 1-6 one, six, and 6-3 six, in Glasgow, Scotland. In the doubles round, Bublik and Alexander Nedovyezov defeated Rajiv Ram and Jack Sock, 6-2, 7-6 six, and six, 6. The Americans will now see if the Netherlands can follow suit. Britain must win after losing to the United States on Wednesday. The Americans will then face the Dutch on Saturday. In their Group C match in Hamburg, Germany, Australia came from behind to upset France 2-1. Richard Gasquet put the French on track with a 6-2, 6-4 victory over Jason Kluber, but Alex de Menard leveled the tie with a 6-3, 1-6, 6-4 win over Benjamin Bonzi, and doubles pairing Matthew Ebden and Max Purcell completed the victory with a 6-4, 6-4 victory over Nicholas Mahut and Arthur Rindernech. The Australians have two wins, one more than Germany, which plays Belgium on Friday. On Wednesday, France was defeated by Germany, Serbia defeated Korea 2-1 in Group B in Valencia on Thursday, and Sweden tied Croatia 1-1 in Group A in Bologna, Italy. Next up, despite Typhoon Nanmadal's disruptions, Elise Mertens progresses in the Pan Pacific Open. Elise Mertens defeated Shang Wang at the Pan Pacific Open on Monday, winning by 6-0 and 6-3. The games were halted owing to Typhoon Nanmadal, during which she won the first three. She won the next three games once the match was resumed. Wang was in the middle of his serve when the rain began. As a result, the game had to be stopped for 45 minutes while the roof of Ariaki Coliseum was closed. The 30-year-old Chinese player could tie the match at 3-3 in the second set, but Mertens won the next three games to move to the competition's second round. Jin Yu Wang defeated Ellen Perez in three sets, 7-5, 1-6, 6-4, while Claire Liu advanced by defeating Alison Risquet Armitrage in two sets, 
and 6-3. Lu also took a 3-0 lead in her match after completing 88% of her first serves in the first set. The two Americans traded breaks to begin the second set, but Lu went on to win three consecutive games to take a 5-1 lead in the match, despite winning the first set and leading Jin Yu Wang 3-0. Perez could not complete the victory and lost the match. Despina Papa Mihail won in straight sets, 6-4, 6-2, over Jiaori Yu, while both of Japan's competitors were defeated. Misaki Doi was eliminated after losing in two sets, 6-2, 6-4, to Kin Wen Zhang, and Rina Saigo was defeated in straight sets by Petra Martic, 6-1, 6-1. Moving on, Roger Federer will make a last-minute choice on his participation in the Laver Cup. According to his trainer, Roger Federer will likely make a last-minute decision on his participation in the Laver Cup. Federer, a 20-time Grand Slam champion, announced his retirement from professional tennis last week after a series of knee surgeries with the Laver Cup as his official event. Federer was photographed arriving in London for the Laver Cup on Sunday, prompting the tournament's official account to tweet, RF has arrived. However, due to repeated injury issues, the 41-year-old may be denied the opportunity to compete in the team competition between Europe and the rest of the world, which begins on Friday at London's O2 Arena. Federer's trainer, Pierre Paganini, told the Swiss Daily Blick, he'll probably decide at the last moment. He's been schooled to have as much information about whether it's a good idea or not. Paganini also revealed that Federer first considered retirement in July, after it became evident that he was putting in more efforts for relatively low intensity. He had noticed that he has to make more and more diversions and put in more work since July, when he started merging the several training elements. Paganini explained, he had to exert more effort for a lower intensity. I believe it's a wise decision. It isn't simply the knee. Roger has played many matches and put his body under much stress in his career. Federer, Novak Djokovic, Rafael Nadal, and Andy Murray will all compete on the same squad in the Laver Cup, which Federer's management organization organizes. Finally, Carlos Alcaraz, 19, wins in straight sets and contributes to Spain's Davis Cup triumph over South Korea. Carlos Alcaraz manufactures items for both his country and himself. Seven days after winning his first Grand Slam tournament, top-ranked Alcaraz defeated Kwon Su Wu in straight sets in the Davis Cup finals, ensuring Spain's triumph over South Korea and a place in the semifinals as Group B champion. The US Open champion celebrated by pumping his fists at his side and yelling when Kwon fired a forehand long, handing the Spanish teenager a 6-4, 7-6 in one victory in front of a raucous home crowd in Valencia on Sunday. It was Alcaraz's first victory since defeating Casper Ruud in last Sunday's US Open final. He also became the ATP computerized ranking's youngest leader since they began in 1973. Alcaraz missed Spain's 3-0 win over Serbia on Wednesday and Canada's 2-1 triumph over Felix Oje Aliasem on Friday. But Alcaraz, 19, was back to his best on Sunday, with some shots that had the fans on their feet. Juan played inspired tennis as well, and their trainer squeaked on the hard court as both sprinted in long rallies, returning strokes that appeared unplayable at times. With the 6-1, 6-3 victory over Hong Xiong Chang, Roberto Bautista Agut got Spain off to a flying start. Marcel Granulers and Pedro Martinez faced Nam Ji Sung and Song Ming Kyu in the doubles. Spain advances to the final eight in November, when it will also play on home soil, as the single venue quarterfinals will be held in the southern city of Malaga. Group stage matches are also being held in Bologna, Italy, Hamburg, Germany, and Glasgow, Scotland. Well, that marks the end of our video for today. We hope you enjoyed it. On your way out, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more content like this in the future. Thanks for watching.